Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second semester opening assembly. We are going to start with a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads together. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we can be here today in this cold winter day. But Lord, we know that with your warm love, you had us and Lord, make us feel better. We ask you, Lord, that you might remain with us as we start this brand new semester. Please be with the students, with the parents, with the lecturers, with all the staff at the college, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that your blessings might be pouring upon us. And as we start this program, your Holy Spirit might dwell with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me take this time also to welcome you to our program this morning. Uh, maybe before we start, I need to mention that we are operating on a generator and uh, very soon we will be switching from uh, the generator to the uh, to ESCOM and it might disturb our streaming. And if, you, if it disturbs you, then simply uh, reset your page, then it will come back on. Uh, the lady who, the lady who opened with a word of prayer is Mrs. Yeni Tito de Harris. Uh, for those that are new on this campus, um, uh, we will be having our devotion uh, conducted by Pastor Ben McKenzie. And also the address will be given by uh, Dr. Simbarasham Sosui. And uh, Prof. Charlene Reneke will do the, will read the Dean's List uh, Awards. And then the benediction will be done by Dr. Conrad. Uh, my duty this morning is to welcome you to this opening assembly. I want to take this time to welcome our new students, those that are going to be studying with us for the first time. We want to warmly welcome them on campus and those that will be studying online, we want you to feel welcome. And our returning students, uh, please feel welcome. And we realize that some of you completed their studies in the first semester. They are simply waiting for their graduation. We also welcome them and uh, we pray that the Lord will bless them. The graduating class together with their committee, together with their sponsors, we want to welcome them this morning uh, as they plan for the graduating, uh, graduation at the end of this year. Uh, I also need to welcome the student representatives, the SRC, uh, as they will be representing students in all governing uh, bodies on campus. Please feel welcome. Our lecturing staff, I want to welcome you in a special way. And we also realize that we have uh, our new contract lecturers. Please feel welcome. And we believe the Lord is going to bless us as we work together in this uh, ministry of teaching and learning. Uh, we also welcome our uh, support staff. Please feel welcome. They are also playing a critical role in this institution. And I also want to mention that the Lord has sustained us uh, from 2020, 2021, and we are still standing, we're still moving on, and we are still uh, excited by what drives us. That is the mission, the vision, and the, and the values of this institution. And we're still committed in producing competent, ethical, uh, fruitful and faithful graduates. And we believe that the Lord has given us this, uh, this, uh, this role of producing and providing this world with leaders, uh, trendsetters, agents of change, movers and shakers, contributors, and not mere consumers. We still believe that Helderbeck College of Higher Education produces leaders. And lastly, I want to thank our sponsors, uh, particularly the SAU, South and Africa Union Conference, together with its uh, local conferences, which owns and operate this institution and provide appro appropriations. Uh, Helderberg, Council of High, uh, Helderberg Council for providing guidance and ensuring good governance. Um, our sponsors, our parents, those that are assisting our students, the organizations that are assisting our students, that are funding the education of our students. We want to thank you for the support that you provide. And we pray and hope that God will bless us as we all fold our sleeves, dirty our hands, and get to work. 
Jesus Christ in the book of Luke chapter 19, verse 13 has this to say, occupy till I come. May God bless us all. Thank you. Good morning, friends. I'd like to invite you to take your Bibles. And before we open our Bibles, allow me to invite you to join me in prayer. Our Father and our God, this morning we lift up your word. We thank you for your word, your word which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your word is not only light but life. Your word offers both counsel and comfort. From your word, we get conviction and direction. And so our humble request this morning is that you would speak to us through your word. For it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. It has been suggested that there is a fine line between a long sermon 